welcome here. My name is Sydney. If you are new to my channel, I love to do decorating, lifestyle, and motherhood videos on my channel. So if that kind of content interests you, I would love for you to stick around and subscribe so you never miss an upload from me. Now in today's video, I'm going to be talking all about my entryway and showing you how I created it and how I kept it budget friendly, super inexpensive with the decor and items that I use. I'm going to be showing you how you can make an entryway at your home if you don't have a proper entryway like we don't have here in our house. So if you are interested to see what I came up with, then please continue to watch. And you shattered at the point of no return. You pick up the pieces and you let the bridges burn. So come to the water, you're sailing with the breeze. Take a step into the river where you will find peace. Where you go. Take a step into the river And get down on your knees Okay, so I'm in my doorway right now So if you enter into my house, you walk right into my living room and we live in a really small home, so we actually don't have a proper entryway. So I created one myself by using the furniture. I went ahead and put a couch here, kind of in the middle of the living room, to kind of wall off our little sitting area, TV area. So if you don't have an, a proper entryway, this is a really good idea to kind of block off the living room. I used to have this couch over here, and I didn't like it because it just felt so so weird how you just walked right into the living room. Here's our front door. We have a rug there, the couch. Then on the opposite side of the couch, I put another rug. And this kind of makes it look more like an entryway as well. I have two matching rugs, this rug here, and then the rug right as you walk in. So how I created this little entryway area is I got this little table, which was actually given to us. I painted it, it used to be a green color and I painted it white and then a gray on top. And then I had this mirror that I bought from Hobby Lobby a while back, but it was a gold color. And I was going to incorporate gold into our house, but I changed my mind and ended up with no gold in the rest of the house. So it just kind of didn't fit. It still looked really nice, but it was just kind of a weird gold to me too. So I ended up painting it black, so now it fits our house and our color theme so much better and I love it. So I just love a nice bench table like this and a nice mirror and an entryway. It just looks so nice and then adding some greenery. So I had this vase from Hobby Lobby and I put some greenery, some eucalyptus in that and I painted around the rim. It was a gold color too 
I just painted it black and that ties in well with the mirror. Now these baskets here at the bottom were really cheap. You can get them for about $12 at Marshalls. So I thought these two baskets looked really nice to bring in some color and texture and they fit down there perfectly. So I just like to store some nice pillows. The striped pillows are actually from Walmart. I love the striped c color on one side, but the opposite side says, let's stay home. But I didn't love the font, so I went ahead and bought this really nice pillow down here. This says it's so good to be home, and it's still a little wrinkled because I just got it out of the package, but I just think that looks so nice. And this down here is actually a rug, but I didn't like how big it was. I actually got it for this area here in place of this rug, but I like, I just went ahead and draped it kind of like a blanket. I think it looks really nice with the tassels and I'm just gonna stick with this rug for now. I do like how neutral and it just kind of blends in with the floor. So I went ahead and just used the striped side of these two pillows that I got from Walmart and they were actually only $12 each. So that was really nice too. The pillows and the bins are $12. And then this little rug was $19 and this pillowcase was around $7 and I got that from Amazon. The rug is from Marshalls. Now up here, I had some lanterns on my TV stand but I didn't like how it looked. I started to get like not so happy with it. So I put one here and I think that turned out really nice. It just looks really good with the different height. I wanted something sort of taller on this side. Over here on my TV stand, I'm just leaving some greenery instead of having lanterns on either side. And I like how simple it looks. Now down here, I got all of this from Marshalls the same day. I found this round clock and I loved how it said welcome on it. I thought that would be perfect for the entryway. So I got that from Ray Dunn and then I was looking for a really small wood sign and I thought this one was perfect. It says choose kindness and I, it was only about $7 for it as well as this little wood tray. Now this wood tray is super sturdy. I also found this greenery with this terracotta type pot. It's just really nice quality so I love that with the eucalyptus. Now over here, I found this really cute book. It's the Cozy White Cottage book. I found it on Amazon. I've seen a lot of people with this. Let me lift this face up. I just think this is so pretty and it definitely goes with the theme of what I'm going for with my house. And I just love the pictures in it. So I thought I would put it here. It says, 100 ways to love the feeling of being home cozy white cottage so I just thought that tied in really well with like my pillows and just the entryway I just think that looks so pretty all right so that is everything for my entryway makeover I hope that you guys found some inspiration and got some ideas from this video. If you did, I would love for you to hit the like button. It helps out my channel so, so much. And if you aren't subscribed, please consider to subscribe so you can join my channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a wonderful and blessed day.